that Tim Ash was basically your nemesis. Vince and, Russo. And, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, well, I was actually going to say that Jim Cornette's nemesis, aside from Vince Russo, at the time was Terry Landell. Uh, he, from personal experience, Cornette hates Russo way worse than he hates Landell because Landell was just a nuisance. Vince Russo is blamed by Cornette for stealing two of his jobs. Uh, but basically, WWE and TNA were forced to pick who they thought would do a good job and who could fucking get along with people. And you and I both know from personal experience that Jimmy has trouble getting along with people that criticize him, which I was the only one who could get by with it for a long time. Uh, And he even told me that. He says, you're the only one that can get by with talking to me that way. I said, well, good. You need somebody to talk to you this way when you say racist, stupid shit, homophobic shit shit that has no factual backup you know you need somebody in your life like me and you jimmy are the only one who can talk to me the way you do because i will listen to you see if it makes sense and if, and sometimes jimmy did sometimes jimmy would talk me off the ledge of doing something stupid or mean or hateful to get revenge back on somebody who tried to fuck with me and uh, i would use jimmy as the voice of reason sometimes with financial decisions family decisions And I deferred to Jimmy because Jimmy was better at being rational with other people than he was himself. Um, I strongly believe that Jimmy is bipolar, at least to some level. Uh, He is uh, autistic uh, because he does shit that no other human being does. He will write you off in a heartbeat if you criticize him. Um, I, I can get criticized. And as long as you're not being mean or hurtful about it, that's fine. Uh, But when you're trying to be a prick and you come in my chat rooms and post Trump 2020 or 2024, Jim Cornette for life, you know, when you're just trying to antagonize me to get attention, then I'll block you in a fucking heartbeat. But if you want to have a discussion, I'm happy to have that with you. I'm not the smartest motherfucker that ever lived, but I can have a rational conversation with the lowest forms of life on up to people like Mark Cuban, Anthony Scaramucci. uh, The most intellectual wrestlers that have ever been in the business So your Nick Bockwinkles, people like that. Uh, I can go up or down as high as you want to go for a guy with a basic high school education. I think I hang in there with most people pretty good. 